Hello everyone, and welcome. I am Moonblast, and today we'll be playing another game of Risk Global Domination. Alright, let's see if we can find a good game. Let's see what filters we got. Um, let's see if we can find some expert games. Ooh, hopefully it's not full of bots and they're gonna start right when I get in. Ooh, no! This is a good, this looks like a good game. Alrighty. It's always nice getting into a good game quick like that, you know? Alright, we're the porcelain color. Nice, nice. Two people didn't confirm? That's great. Huh, I get to go first. Uh, should I go? F let's go. Let's try and go for uh, Australia, right? Let's see. Let's gauge what other the other players want to do. Well, orange is a bot, right? So basically, what is charcoal? Is charcoal gonna fight me to the death for Australia? Shoot, they are. That's not good, man. Well, I did not g go into Australia looking for a long-term engagement, right? This just sucks, man. I mean, it's kind of obnoxious, right? There are so many other places ch charcoal could have gone. Well, I mean, North America isn't looking too bad, right? They've got a lot of troops there. Well, do I stick to my spot and try for Australia? Well, I think that's the move. Wow, okay. What's orange gonna do? Okay. All right. Well. I'm gonna stick to my guns in uh, Australia, I suppose. See what happens, right? I'm gonna get my card bonus, hopefully, before charcoal. Let's see what we have. Oh, no. Two infantry. That's not good. Basically, when it comes to charcoal and I, whoever gets their card bonus first is gonna win the win the content, and the other person's gonna, well, be screwed. Yo, they put their troops in North America. That's nice. It looks like they kind of gave up. It's like, relinquish your claim to uh, Australia, please. I mean, they ha already have a pretty decent foothold in North America. That's where I would have gone the first time. The problem now is that my eight troops in Australia are blocking in their seven, so maybe if I move over to the right, they'll leave? Maybe? It'd be nice if they left, right?
cards we have now. All right, we we really we really need an artillery, you know, so we can kick charcoal out of Australia, and then we should be pretty safe. Oh no, is he gonna put them back in Australia? Because blue is kind of working its way into North America. Okay, good, good. That was a. Why didn't he put it? Those troops on his eight. Okay, that makes sense. He, he could just move them over. What are Blue's goals right here? Why doesn't Blue just take South America? Okay, there they go. I was like, all right. I, I mean, charcoal. It looks like charcoal has a pretty nice um, chance to get North America now if Blue moves down. The bot has Africa now. Nice. Uh, man, if the orange bot puts those in Australia again... Okay, good. They're, they want Europe. Okay, good, good. Yeah, this turned into a long-term engagement to try and get uh, Australia, which is not ideal. Dude, we have to watch out for pink, though, man. Pink might do something that would not benefit us. You know. As in that pink would swoop in after we clean out Australia. Oh, shoot! That is not good. Please don't attack me, pink. Please don't attack me. What is Pink doing? What's Pink doing? Oh, that was weird. Please, did we get an artillery from that turn? Please, man. Oh, no, dude, that's not good. That is not ideal. Huh. It's like I could really use an artillery right now. Wait, what? Why didn't they go for the South America bonus? Like, bro, that's a bot. Who cares if the bot gets a bonus? You know? Like... A bot getting a bonus literally doesn't matter at all, you know? Now the bot is just gonna attack you, like, not a good- not a good move, man. Hmm. Yeah. It might be best just to get out of Australia at this point. Like, you didn't get a good card bonus, and... It's just not working out. It's just not working out in Australia. Alright. Alright, can we get an artillery? That'd be really handy now. All right, did we get an artillery or are we screwed? Yes! All right, boys, on our next turn, we're gonna be smacking. I'm, I'm scared of what Pink's goals are. I'm really, I'm, uh, I'm a bit nervous of what Pink has in mind, right? Please do not put those in Australia. Please, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, pink, pink has me worried, man. I think pink wants... I think pink wants Australia. I think they're waiting for me, man. Oh, shoot! Alright, charcoal, relax. 
Should I just let charcoal get... Uh... I'm not quite sure what to do in this circumstance. I feel like pink and charcoal want to annihilate me at like any moment really here. Uh, well, I don't want to get eliminated 10 minutes into the game, right? Because why else? I think charcoal wants to come up right behind me and just absolutely just annihilate me. They see me. They see that I have five cards, right? They might back off though when I cash in a bunch of cards. I'm not sure. We'll see. Do we do we stand our ground, fellas? We'll see. I don't know, I could did we get a good card? No. It's just like charcoal, what are your atten intentions, charcoal? Yeah, charcoal, I, I cash in some big cards, just turn around. You know? Oh no, dude. Could you imagine if they trap me in? Well, I got rid of the charcoal that were behind me, which was nice, but... I think charcoal might want to block me in, and that's not- that'd be really bad. I don't know what Charcoal's intentions are, but I'm worried, man. If I stay there, I'll make it screwed. Like, what do I do in this circumstance? Do I- do I leave? At this point, I think it's impossible to, to get it at this point. I think Charcoal has made their intentions clear. Is this a mistake? It could be. If they want to move in and kick out Orange... Like, the bot is still putting troops in Australia, so let me see. Yeah. Like, the bot was still putting troops in Australia, so... It just looks like a, like a, like a no win to me, man. Now what do we do? Well, charcoal called our bluff, right? What the heck? They, they they decided that they didn't want Australia now? What? I'm so confused. They don't want it now? You don't just get to decide that you don't want it now. They probably saw that Orange was putting troops in Australia and decided that it wasn't worth it. Yeah, oh, uh, well, Orange... Australia is basically unconquerable now. Well, 
I guess, I know, it's funny, right? The only reason they're keeping that is because they're a bot, right? I mean, no matter how good a bot is, it's still a bot, you know? Hmm. I wonder what pink is... I... I don't know. I thought pink is interested in North America, but we'll see. Like, keep... I don't know why blue is so aggressive, like, putting those 12 troops up there. It's just like... I mean, but pink, you... Pink could totally kick blue out, right? If they wanted to. When only one person, I mean, I guess two people have a continent bonus, I suppose, but one of them's a bot. That's just kind of the way the game goes, I suppose. Obviously, red is going for Europe. Well, I mean... When the, when the bot is absolutely smacking right now. That was a weird move, but alright. Well, I suppose we'll, we can just sit in Asia, I suppose, right? And get Fin Farm cards. Yep. Yes, sir. No, I th I think pink is interested in North America, but they're just, they're doing it a little slow, if you ask me. Right? I'd just go in and grab it at this point. You have a lot of troops, right? I would snag it up. I want to see charcoal just go in and destroy orange, and then have and then I move in and destroy charcoal. Right? That'd be pretty nice. Huh. Why did they attack twice? Where are they? Where are they? Where is Charcoal going? Like, there wasn't really much of a benefit to attack three times. I don't know why they did that. I do enjoy them not being right next to me, though, so I'll take that. I'm really curious what Charcoal has in mind moving over there. Maybe they're trying to bait me into attacking Orange, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Why did the bot do that? All right, we gotta take we gotta take this, man. Dang, we actually lost quite a bit. Wow, that wasn't ideal, dude. I mean. If Charcoal attacks me, though, they'd be pretty weak. We'll see what happens. I hope Charcoal leaves me alone, but we'll see. Was that a bad move? I had to make a move, man. I had to make a move. You can't even deny I had to make a move. Alright, Charcoal, leave me alone. Leave me alone, man. Bro. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it, bro. I'm gonna get eliminated, bro. I'm dead, dude. Oh, I'm gonna be the first one eliminated, aren't I? What the heck? Why did Charcoal... Dang, Charcoal missed an opportunity, if you ask me, but... I don't know... I mean, I guess Blue does have the most troops. 
but it's kind of strange if you ask me. Do we have good cards at least? Man, we've been getting the short straw for uh, cards this game, you know, just not good. You know, we haven't been, you know, we've, we've been picking all the bad cards. That's alright though. It's so strange, like, orange, why did the bot, like, just, like, leave? That's just odd, if you ask me. Please, an ar artillery, man. Oh, no, man. Infantry? Dang, that's that's not that's not what we want, bro. At least we have a continent though, that's pretty nice. Basically, every game has that person that attacks the person with the most troops to keep everybody about equal. Every game has it. This game it's charcoal trying to bring the blue down a little bit, right? Like every game has it, it's charcoal, this game. At this point, if I was blue, I'd kinda, you know, give up on your dreams of having Africa again. That's not gonna happen with charcoal. I'm not sure how common is it for a bot to literally leave a continent like that. I'm not sure if it was on purpose or if they- How does the bot misclick? I'm not sure. If that was on accident or on purpose. You know? Alright. Did we get an artillery? Let's see. Yeah, let's go boys. Let's go. It's pretty good. We're kind of rising up the ranks now. There we go. There you go, pink. Finally going for it, right? When orange has only 21 troops. Yep. Dude, Blue's probably so annoyed right now. Yep. Dude, I was so lucky that Charcoal didn't decide to attack me. Wait, what is Blue doing? What is Blue- what is Blue's, I like, plan right now? I would hold on to South America at least, my man. Well, here we go. Let's uh, let's get our feet into Asia again. There we go. Um. Well, basically, just farm cards at this point, you know. <coughs> hmm, what, what's charcoal gonna do now? Well, I think pink has shown that it's not going to attack blue, so blue doesn't have to put any defenses next to pink, you know? Pink just wants its North America, right? And blue wants South America. You know, it, as long as you guys have a mutual like thing, like we're not going to attack each other there, then you can put your troops to defend in other spots, which is pretty helpful. 
What Blue should do is put all of its troops on that one spot in Africa that they have right now. And they could have, like, their base be right there. I don't know why they're going into Europe. They don't need to. They could just farm cards in Africa, trading back and forth with, with charcoal. I don't know why Blue's going into Europe. The bot wants Europe, right? Once the bot wants something, you really can't stop, like, tell it not to do that. It's just going to keep going for it. Do we get a good card? Let's see. Uh, not quite yet. Let's see if we can get an infantry mount on our next turn. Ooh, bubblegum's getting powerful. Uh, no. No, we did not. Well, rest in peace, Orange, man. I guess someone had to do it. I hope he doesn't attack me, man. It's a bit early in the game to die, right? I think so. Oh, no, he's drafting, bro. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Please, bro. Please, bro. Oh, man. I have five cards, too. I'm looking juicy with my five cards, man. Oh, thank goodness, man. Oh, I was looking... I was looking juicy with five cards. Right? You don't want to hold on to too many cards, you know? Like, in some circumstances, because sometimes you'll look like a... Like a pretty, like, good target, just because you can get five cards. I'm not sure what... Blue has in mind, but it's just uh, very odd. Just putting all those troops in the middle of Europe. It's quite odd, if you ask me. Alright, do we get a good card? Well, to me, a good card is... It's getting a card that goes towards the bonus, right? And see, we did. So we're going to get a big bonus on our next turn. Well, it looks like Charcoal's going to get Africa, I suppose. That's what it was wanting to go for. I think Blue went put those troops in Europe just so that it could farm cards. But I feel like they should. Asia would be a lot better place to farm cards, right? Because Red is putting a lot of troops into uh, Europe, and obviously you don't want to lose a bunch of troops to get cards, right? I think that's what they're doing. They're going to Asia now. That's what they should have done in the first place. Like, if the bot wants Europe, let it have it, right? It doesn't really matter. Alright, now we can get that big bonus. Get that absolutely massive bonus. Now we're starting to get pretty powerful. I don't I don't want to get charcoal's attention though. That's for sure. Pink is getting pretty powerful too though. Obviously, they have the biggest bonus, so they're going to grow at the fastest rate. And did Charcoal really do all of that fighting against Blue just to take Africa? Like, we're 30 minutes in, man. Get yourself a continent bonus at this point, you know? Or just take it. There you go. 
Blue's not gonna forget though all the stuff you did to make to take Africa from them. They're probably gonna attack you and remove your bonus. Like they didn't forget, bro. Yeah, I guess they're not. I know, right? If Blue wanted to be sassy, they could have moved all their troops into that spot next to them in Africa and then put their 31 troops there and combined Charcoal wouldn't have been able to do anything, right? To take it from them. That's what I... That's my, that might have been what I would do. But luckily for Blue, the bot took the continent bonus from Charcoal so they didn't have to do it themselves. Which is always nice. That way, you don't... Ooh, I lost two. I'm trying to do that. Rip. Well, we got ourselves. Oh, I mean, I mean, games like this—a six-player game on regular map, original map—usually takes a while, anyways. We're only about a quarter of the way done. Huh, I know, right? I'm not even joking on that one. You do realize if you keep leaving ones there, the bot is just gonna keep attacking you. You gotta like you gotta put some troops there so the bot stops attacking you, charcoal. Could you imagine if Blue sent all those troops just to attack you? Uh Well I would say that someone else needs to get eliminated from the game. I'd probably say the bot, right? Huh, the bot's not gonna attack charcoal. Interesting. I know, right? Pink is getting a huge bonus, and no one, no one is like gonna gonna do anything. Well, basically, when you get to a point like this in a game of risk. It's basically the same thing that happens. Someone gets tired, they get bored, and they send all their troops to attack someone because they want to go do something else with their day, right? That's basically what happens in games like this. And we've reached a stalemate to where that's what's going to happen. Basically, it's the waiting game. Let's see what our cards are. Not bad, not bad. It is kind of nice that we got a continent, though. Alright, right. everyone on the board has a continent now. That's pretty pretty interesting, right? Is anyone going to make a move? I don't know. I don't know if anyone's going to make a move. I'm not going to make the move, I'll say that. Pink is growing at a rate, though, that it could start doing some damage if it wanted to. We'll see, though. My guess is that the red bot might attack Charcoal too many times, and then Charcoal will just get mad and destroy red. Maybe. We'll see, right? Could you imagine if I accidentally clicked on blue? Did we get a good car? Let's see. That's alright. Right, like, even if you don't get, like, the, th the all three bonus, if you get, like, three artillery, that's still eight. So, that's not bad, right? Just think, stinks when you get a bunch of infantry, right? Because uh, three infantry is only worth four. So, that's why I'm, I'm happier to see artillery, even if I don't get the all three. Obviously, all three is the best, though. But that's kind of, like, what I think to myself when I'm saying if I got good cards or not. First of all, can it finish the bonus to get all three? If not, then did I get get an artillery right? Um, yeah, this... I don't know how this game's gonna end. It's hard to predict, right? Everyone here seems like they actually kind of want to win, so I don't know. And red is growing pretty fast, so we'll see. It'd be really cool if, um... Oh, Red, what do you think you're doing here, Red? Well, 
Well, like bots, they they just they just don't play with great strategy, man. Even like the good ones, like spreading themselves out with like sixes in Asia makes no sense whatsoever. Can we do what needs to be done and whittle red down? That'd be pretty handy. Like, did we get an infantry? You know, I'll take three artilleries. That's all right. I'll take that. Dang, dude. Pink's power level is like really going up, up, and up, right? So obviously you gotta be careful of pink. Obviously if the current rate that we're going at continues, obviously pink would just win by default, right? So we'll see. What the Aww. Man, that was a that was a bad exchange right there. That was a bad exchange. Man, red has to chill with like what it's doing, man. Thank you, Charcoal, for removing Red's um, bonus. Yeah, I think the bot is going to be the next one to go. I'm super weak. Look at look at how many troops I have compared to the other real players, right? Obviously, though, for them to destroy me, they'd have to take losses so great that they would also be eliminated. So that's why I'm alive. see. Do you think that uh, Charcoal will try to get rid of Red's bonus? Probably not, right? You see, I'm not going to attack that that one spot that Charcoal just made, so I want to force them to attack red, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack the one left by blue. It's like, uh, do we get a good card? Eh, maybe. Alright. Alrighty. Can we all kind of just agree to destroy red? Could you imagine being 39 minutes into the game and only having one person eliminated? Did we get an infantry? Nope. Uh, I guess they could have done that, yeah, that's right. Like I said, we just have to wait till someone, you know, has to leave, you know, then, and then they attack someone and lose and then go, go, right? Well, when you have good players like this, they, they want to win, so they're not going to just attack for no reason. However, bots, they will, so... Problem is that to destroy the bot would require weakening yourself to an extreme level, and no one's going to do that. 
Man. Bro, I hate this spot, man. Like, stop putting such large numbers of troops right there, man. Like, right there, dude. Uh, Pink's like, hmm, I have so much troops, what do I do, right? Uh, if you destroyed red, that'd be real nice. What if we all agree just to beat up, uh, Pink, right? That'd be kind of a decent idea, right? What are my cards looking like? Alright, that's alright. Just need a cavalry now. Are you just gonna let that happen? Uh, charcoal? Destroy your enemy, charcoal. Attack red. Defeat red. Could you imagine if red starts moving into Africa? I think Charcoal is realizing that fighting the bot just isn't worth it for the bonus for out of Africa. Well, do we get a good car? Let's see. Did we get a good card? Yeah, we did. All right. Oh, snap. Okay, I thought I thought charcoal was just gonna leave. Really? Why stay in Africa if you're not gonna keep your bonus, right? I don't know, right? I mean, do us all a, a, a favor and destroy red, right? Dude, pink is so big right now. 220 troops. When pink is literally huge. Dude, pink is so big. Pink is so big and it's not even funny right now. I 
Alright, hopefully we don't lose too many attacking this seven. Oh, just two, that's alright. Charcoal's kind of mad at the pot. Just like charcoal, take take back Africa from red, man. Otherwise, leave and let the bot take over it, right? By letting the bot take it, then you'd force someone else's hand to attack red, right? Because pink isn't getting any smaller, right? Well, this was an expert minimum lobby, right? So we c there could be some really big, like, you know, rank players in here. And with that in mind, right, they don't want to lose. So... It's, it's your, your guess is good as mine on who's going to want to, you know, leave first, right? If we attacked in charcoal with everything we had, we could basically end the game really soon, you know? Because then pink would destroy blue, and then pink would then destroy red, right? Hey bro, we're only about- we still got a good three hours, man. We could, like, you know, we could really- we're, we're in it to win it, man. True, true, yeah. We're gonna- we're gonna last. All right, here we go. Well, I'm just like observing the game and I can see we've reached a stalemate, right? Did we get good cards? Yep. Well, that's what my guess is. My guess is that Either charcoal or blue is going to get bored and leave and then attack the other person. Like charcoal attack blue or blue attack charcoal. They destroy each, they self annihilate each other. And then pink swoops in and cleans the board. That's what my guess is what's going to happen. Obviously, pink is here to win, right? Pink is here to win. Wait, why are they attacking more than once? Is there any way that we could force someone else's hand in this game? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, dude, the, the dragon um, character portrait looks so cool, man. Like, that's definitely the coolest one.
how does blue have so much more troops than I do? And they, they still have the same bonus. I think it's because blue just had better card bonuses. My guess, that's my guess, right? They also did have Africa for a while there, so that might have been it too. I mean, pink is just really running away with the lead, man, of how many troops it's having. I don't know, it just looks like Charcoal just isn't interested in having the Africa bonus anymore. It just begs the question of why are they still there then, right? What is pink doing, bro? They moved all their troops there for a reason. Could you imagine if they come and wipe me out? I wouldn't be surprised at all, but... Oh, uh, I think... I don't know. I mean, pink wants to win, right? Huh, we'll see. I wonder what would happen if I left Australia. Probably just charcoal would move in, right? Could you imagine if we destroyed Blue's army of 63? Well, I could see it, yeah. Is that the move, though? I'm not sure. Well, it might- it force, you know, eh, but it wouldn't really do much for the game, right? Nah, bro, we're in it to win it, bro. See what pink does. Pink's ever increasing lead, right? Like, charcoal, reclaim Africa, bro, like... It's just, it's just odd if you ask me what charcoal's doing. We have good cards? Almost. Could you imagine if I attacked those 72 troops? Well, it'd make, it'd make, uh, it'd make the game move forward, that's for sure. No, bro, you have to, you have to hold out. Could you imagine if I let Blue go into Australia?
Uh, it would make the game move forward in a different way. Yo, are they gonna attack red? No. Charcoal, you know you want to destroy. Le you know you want to destroy red, and then leave the game, right? You know you want to, bro. Interesting. It's interesting that um, pink is starting to fill Asia with a bunch of tens, right? So obviously you'd lose more destroying those tens than you would get from a card bonus, right? We'll see if their plan uh, works, right? Obviously they're not going to get Asia with me in it, right? But It's a way to get people to not attack and not get a card bonus, right? Only works if people fall for it, though, right? Thing is, I, I, I know, right? Like, if you stop getting card bonuses, you're probably in a position where you're going to lose, right? So if they just keep filling them with tens, I'm just going to keep, you know, getting them, like, no matter what. It's all fun and games until I get 200 troops on one spot. It won't be long until that happens, honestly. It won't be long. Do we get good cards? Yeah, that's not bad. When pink is doing something... You see, the thing is, you don't fall for Pink's plan, right? You just keep attacking those, um, tens. Dude, Charcoal's not even attacking anymore. Blue, can I can, Blue and I can trade for a little bit, but Pink is on their way, right? Blue, what you should do is split your army, move a bunch of that too, so that we can keep trading without, um, pink interfering, you know? Because very soon, you know, we won't be able to trade anymore. I'm not going to split my army, because that's crazy, right? But... Dude, it won't be long until pink can beat us all. Eh, they're not at that power level, not even close. But they're getting powerful. Could you imagine if you let pink take Asia? It wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Because you'd force someone else to attack pink.
Ooh. Blue did it. Blue was like, wait a minute. Pink's getting pretty big. Oh, snap. Something finally happening in the game. Let's go, boys. Do it. Send all your troops. Oh. This is where the fun begins. Now pink... Now pink is in a bad spot, man. Wait, what was that? How about an alliance for now? Sure, pink. Sure, pink. Sure, pink. Well, pink realized that... Wait a minute. Do I have good cards? Sir, yes, we do. Oh, I'm not gonna attack this turn. I'm not gonna attack. I don't see any benefit from attacking. You know, we'll just wait. We'll wait and see what happens. My guess is that pink is gonna back its troops up and scare blue back into... Um... Really? Pink wants me to get a card bonus. Interesting. I thought they were going to move all their troops back. It was 181 next to the 100. And scare Blue back into South America. But no. Maybe they will next turn, right? And alright, Pink was like, you know what? You guys, want a, you guys want your card bonus? You guys can have it, right? Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Blue just backed up on their own. When Blue and I are just gonna trade back and forth. I mean, like, yeah. Pink, I see what you're going for, but splitting your armies up for no reason isn't a good idea. Well, I thought something was going to happen, but then nope. Back to normal. Interesting. Pink is basically just focusing on making itself so that no one can invade like from any spot. Well, blue stopped pink from doing what it was doing in Asia, right? That silly business. Dang, 211 troops on one spot. Ooh, blue is going crazy, man. Yes, blue. Blue is making something happen. That's what I like to see, my man. Yes, dude. Let's go. Making some. Do it. Do it. Do it, bro. Ooh. So blue was the one to crack, right? Blue cracked. As in that they wanted to go do something else with their day. Which I don't blame them, bro. This game's been going on a while. I mean, I've had longer games, right? I mean... I think the longest one I recorded was an hour and 40 or 50 minutes, right? I had one in the past that went on for, like, just literally, it felt like forever. So I, I actually had to be the one to end it, you know, by doing, like, just sending all my troops out to attack, you know? Well, blue was kind of annoyed by pink, so luckily, blue's grudges with pink, right? You don't want to make grudges because when people get bored after an hour or two, they're gonna they're gonna grudge attack you, right? 
If Pink was smart, they should move all their troops into their one spot, right? Like, putting those 44 troops there doesn't do much because blue can just go around them, right? My guess is that blue is just going to full frontal assault pink, like, basically. Well, it brought pink's power level down, right? A considerable amount. Which is very nice to see. Very nice to see. Yes, dude. Put all your troops- Blue, put all of your troops in North America. That's what- that's what we need, bro. Eh, I mean, I'll, I'll take that. I suppose I'll take that. Could you imagine if the bot wins? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but usually they don't. Wow. Wow, that's crazy, man. Pink is just getting smacked. Pink is getting smacked around, man. No, I'm not getting rid of Red's bonus. Red's attacking pink, which is what we all need. See, look at how the powerful have fallen, right? If you grow too big like pink, you make too many grudges. You make too many people have a grudge against you like pink, you get brought down. And if you look at the leaderboard, I'm only three troops behind pink. That's a pretty crazy turn of events. You know? Bro, could you imagine if pink self-annihilates on, um, blue? That's what I'd like to see. That's what I'd like to see. Then I would self-annihilate on charcoal, and then the bot would win. That'd be an inter that'd be a very interesting turn of events. I think this game might be over within the next twenty minutes. Of how fast things are moving now. Well, usually people start getting bored. You know, around after an hour or so, and they start making a they start making a like a move, right? A move that's um not beneficial to them, but makes the game go forward. You know, do we got a good card? Yeah, we do. Really, I want to see pink self annihilate on blue. That'd be so good. Yo. I don't know, this game might be far from over. It's really hard to say. Huh. Well... I think Pink is gonna do something crazy, man. They might not, they might not, but... They also might, right? Like, I want to see Pink do something crazy. There it is, boys. The most troops on the board. Well, you know. Do something crazy, Pink. Do something crazy. Really? You're not going to take Blue's continent bonus from them? After all Pink, all Blue did to you, Pink? That's crazy. See, Pink's silly business of putting all those tens, like, ten troops on a spot in Asia, it doesn't work out, right? It just doesn't work. Unless you're playing against people that are really just, are just gonna let that happen, you know? But Blue didn't let it happen. Well, I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. We have now taken the number one power spot on the board, which is pretty cool. Until someone notices, right? The problem, though, is that when, I, when someone defends against Australia, all their pieces are in one spot. And they don't have the power to s destroy my all my troops in one spot, so... I'm basically just gonna be left alone, right?
Well, we need somebody to make a move. I don't think Charcoal will. I think Charcoal's in it to win it. Pink's in it to win it. Baloo is in it to win it, right? Basically, everyone here is in it to win it. Blue has shown that they'll make some moves, right? I guess it's just a matter of time until someone makes a move, right? You know you know you wanna destroy blue pink. There you go, pink. Keep going. Keep going, pink. Aw man. We might be here a we might be here a while, folks. And it really comes down to who who's going to wait the longest, right? I can do this all day. I wonder what Pink's goal is, right? At this point, what does Pink do? They're starting to go down in power compared to everyone else. Everyone else is growing faster than they are now. Well, if I was Pink, um, I'd just leave. Like I'd let I'd let blue expand upwards, right? Because that will that will force someone else to attack blue, right? Either take North America or leave, right? It's probably what I'd say. Yeah, if what blue should do is combine their army, right? And yeah, should I wait a turn? Yeah, let's cash them in now. I mean, there wasn't really any reason not to wait right, but oh well. Gotta grow big. Well, at the moment, I don't have... No one has a grudge against me at the moment, which is nice. Pink and blue absolutely hate each other, you know. Obviously, I had a very... I, I caused a grudge with charcoal very early on, right? But that's gone away. You know, we both wanted Australia at the very beginning, but we both have our continent now. We're doing good for ourselves. My guess is that... Blue and pink might self-annihilate on each other, right? But 
I don't know. They've kind of shown that they're more interested in actually winning, though. So we'll see. Dang, I actually just put charcoal in a strange spot, right? Now, they're, they're blocked in by red, like, on all sides, by a considerable number of troops. What's charcoal gonna do? Are they gonna attack red? Are they gonna attack blue? But those are their choices, right? Yeah, it looks like pink is just gonna get their cards and leave North America. That's interesting. Oh, uh, yep. Charcoal's not gonna attack now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Charcoal's blocked in so they won't get cards. Interesting. What's that red dot next to charcoal? Is that a, a alliance? Yeah. I'll accept that. Could you imagine if blue takes North America? I wouldn't be surprised. That's looking like what might happen. It's always interesting how the power, like, levels in the game change, right? At the moment, we're basically running away with the power, like, with the most power. Like, we're just running away with it at this point. Sorry, right, but I need those cards, right? Like, I didn't like losing eight troops right there, but I need red to leave me some space to get cards, right? Hey, I want to see it. I want to see Blue take North America. This game isn't even close to wrapping up, though. I have no- honestly, I don't know how it's gonna end. Yeah, Charcoal was kind of annoyed if Red doing that. Like, you gotta let Charcoal get a card, right? Do we got good cards? Yeah, we do. I mean, that's... We're getting close to 300 troops. This is crazy, man. How, how you know, the tables have turned. Ooh. Pink has, like, just said, I'm out, man. I'm out of North America. Do what you want, Blue. The thing, though, is that... If Pink... I mean, if blue tastes North America, that might force charcoal to attack them, right? So we'll see. I really wouldn't be surprised if pink is like a grandmaster. You know, they're playing pretty smart. Bro, blue, blue, take, take North America this turn, bro. I want to see it happen. I think they will soon. I think Pink will let them have it.
Dude, charcoal was getting is getting get, kind of blocked in at this point. Dude, it'll look so satisfying once we get 300 troops on one spot. Yep. This is a stalemate game. Probably the biggest stalemate game that I've recorded on YouTube so far. Well, I don't know, I think that long game was like an hour and 40 minutes. I don't know, was it this much of a stalemate? I don't remember. Come on, Blue, take North America. I want to see something happen, bro. I mean, yeah, Risk is a game of patience, right? Well, yeah. Please attack the Blue player. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? They're pretty- Blue- Blue is pretty far away from me, my man. How about you attack the blue player? You you literally ran away from blue, man. I know, right? When people do stuff like that, they just send it to every single player on the board. Could you imagine if you say, please send them back, please attack blue? I mean, it'd be fitting. They're just gonna go card hunting, basically. Well, them being in North America is what caused Blue to, you know, attack them because they were getting super powerful. Don't know. I thought Blue was gonna go crazy on Pink and just leave, but no. I guess their plan works. They kicked Pink out. Can we can we destroy the bot already? That'd be pretty nice, you know. I think that'd be a a nice turn of events. Ooh, we got a card bonus. Right, like the card bonuses are really coming in for us now. Well, here it is, folks. Three hundred troops in one spot. Can we make it to four hundred? Maybe. Maybe, we'll see what happens, right? Since all my troops are in one spot, who's gonna attack me, right? Unless they're just bored and want the game to be over. I could see Pink doing it. Are you that type of person, Pink? Alright, alright, Blue. Take North America, you know. I want to see something happen, bro. Take it. Literally take it, bro. What the heck? Bro, take it. Who's going to stop you, man? I don't think anyone will. That's strange. I think blue should just go for it, right? No time better than the present, you know? Just, uh, just go for it, right? Well, I guess we'll work our way up to 400 troops on one spot. Could you imagine having a thousand troops on one spot? Well, in a progressive game, that would be pr you could get that pretty quick, right? But then again... The game would be over by the time. Well, the nice thing about progressive games is that they go by fast, right? The exponential card, like, troop bonuses from cards, you know? Uh, but there's, it's, it's all, it really does come down to a lot of luck, though, right? Getting your card bonuses before someone else does. Obviously, though, 
when you play it with fixed, you kind of get stuck in a. You can get easily get stuck in a stalemate if you're playing against players that don't want to lose. Well, jeez, man. Ooh. <sighs> Can the bot at least do something crazy? Could you imagine if this game actually goes for three hours? I mean, it's looking like it might. Unless someone does something, right? Sometimes people, they just don't want to lose, right? I mean, the board is changing, right? Things are happening, but... Problem with this game is I don't see it ending, bro. I'm just not sure how it's gonna end, right? Nice card bonus, nice, nice. I don't know, I kind of want to leave a little way for me to attack outwards if I need to, right? With all my, my full army. If I was blue, I would kick- I would just take North America. I don't think anyone would stop them, honestly. I don't think they would. I think they'd be left alone. Like, if Pink wanted to stop Blue from taking North America, they would've just left all their troops in North America, right? There you go, Blue. Take North America, man. Still still not wanting to. That's kind of odd, if you ask me. Are they going to remove their troops back? There they go. I think they're thinking about it now. I would just use those 85 troops, destroy everything in North America, and just leave them in the spot, in the 9 spot that has where Pink is in right now. I really don't think Pink would bother them at this point in the game. 
it really does pay not to make me make, make people mad at you, right? Interesting. I think Pink saw that Blue was going to take North America, so they just pulled their troops out. It's interesting. Like, Blue should really go for it, man. I don't think anyone would stop them. Don't just fortify, take the whole continent, my man. There you go. I would have done it the other way around, but I suppose that works too. Alright, and then destroy red. What? Why is he leaving those 15 troops from red there? That's, that's peculiar if you ask me. I suppose on the next turn, right? All right, let's check our cards. Nope. All right, what's pink gonna do? Well, I guess they're just gonna keep farming cards. Pink's probably like, uh, this is the way I'm gonna win. YouTube when it sees me uploading absolutely massive videos. Yep. That's what I wanted to see, Blue. Let's go. You took North America. Ooh, they're moving it there, too. That's, that's quite uh, offensive, but it's smart. So they can farm cars in Europe. Well, is anyone going to damage Blue? Or are we just going to let that happen? I'm going to let it happen, but... Are you guys going to let it happen is the question. Can we just get Red out of the game already? Was he going to do it? Is he going to... Oh, no he's not. He backed off. Why is Pink laughing? I don't know. Is Pink gonna do it? I don't know. Wow, Blue's bonus is big, man. Please attack the Blue player. I think, how about you attack the blue player, man? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go all the way across the board to attack blue. Dude, blue and I, we have no problems, man. Blue and I have absolutely no problems. You, on the other hand, blue literally kicked you out of North America. I think you should be the one to attack him, bro. You have the grudge. Take that. Oh. Ooh, pink's not gonna do anything in a blue. That's interesting. Oh. Well. 
Huh? This is a... Like I said so many times, this is going to be a very long game, boys. Let me guess. Pink's going to attack blue. They're both going to get weakened, and then we're just going to go back to the same thing again, you know? I mean, yes, everyone's playing smart, like they want to win, but the problem is that that kind of makes the game last a while, right? I, I'm not in a rush, man. I'm just saying. Like, someone has to make a move that would be disadvantage, disadvantageous to themselves for this the game to ever end, right? That's just the reality of the situation. If everyone played in their own interests, the game would never end. That's just the truth of the matter. Someone has to make a... Just has to do something silly to make it end. And basically, it's a waiting game to see when that happens. Because so I have... I have no idea when that will happen. Interesting. Well, pink... Pink, you have a few choices. You can either let blue get huge, attack yourself, or wait for someone else to do it. Well, they don't seem like they want to do it. I don't think anyone else... I don't want to do it. Charcoal doesn't. And red's not going to, right? So, that's basically your choices, Pink. Let, let blue grow huge, or attack, right? Because we're not going to do it. Make an alliance with blue. I know, right? Have an alliance with everyone on the board. Hey, I'm not the- I'm not gonna just go aggressively attack blue. Alright, let's check our cards, alright. Not quite. We'll get there, though. Huh. This isn't looking great. For, for me trying to get cards, this isn't great, man. Where do I attack? I suppose I could risk this, right? But this might not pan out. We'll see. Oh, it did. Nice. Alright, did we at least get a good card after losing all those troops? Uh, not really. Darn. Well, it won't be long until blue surpasses us in troop number, right? Huh. Well, I guess we'll see what happens, right? planning there. I don't know. Why would even put 34 troops there to begin with, right? Put them on either the 80 or the 70. Well, I'm not sure why I did that. I'm just not quite sure why I did that. I mean, it didn't need them. Maybe to bulk up its defense with pink on its border? I'm not sure. Hmm. 
when this squad is in the longest game of their lifetime? It could be. Ooh, Blue has surpassed us, though. Yes, sir, they have. I don't know why Blue is putting troops right there. I don't know. Right, like everyone has their cutoff point to where they kind of just want to stop playing, right? I wonder what their cutoff points are, right? Because I don't, I don't believe I'm going to budge, right? I don't think I'm going to budge. So when will they budge and just be like, I'm tired and leave, right? I don't know. Blue's growth rate, though, is really going up. I would really like uh, just to see, you know, pink just go crazy on blue and then leave. That's what I'd like to see, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, and the fact that the bot still exists is just kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. When you get a stalemate between five people, it's just like, wow. You know? It's just like, wow. Like, that's a large stalemate, you know? Between five people. I mean, obviously one of them is a bot, but still. This is not a stalemate that's easily broken. we'll just see how large blue grows, right? Because blue's growing all right. But obviously when you're a stalemate between this many people, right? You're still not powerful enough to destroy everyone on the board. You know? So it's just like, they're stuck. They can't even do anything because they're because everyone else is just so big as well. I guess once we get 400 troops, the next goal is to get 500 troops on one spot. That'd make for an interesting uh, title. 500 troops, 500 troop army. And then 600, then 700, then 1,000. I don't think... Uh, we'll get to it that much. At that point, blue would probably have uh, really gotten large. Just don't spread yourself too thin, blue. That's what I say. I'm kind of hoping pink would attack blue, but I don't know. I guess they're not interested in that.
I know, right? Upload a five hour video to YouTube called The Longest Stalemate Ever. I don't know. How many hours can I, am I able to record? Probably quite a few, right? It'd be it'd be kind of interesting, right? The 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 longest stalemate in history. No one so far has made any notion that they'll budge. So I don't know what to do, man. Obviously, the longer we leave blue alone, the, the larger their uh, troop bonus gets than ours. I mean, the more troops they get, the, the number of troops they have will be much larger. Those keep getting larger and larger than us because they're getting more per turn. I'd be interested to see someone make a move, but. I understand that they want to win, right? I like how Blue sending me a thumbs up and thumbs down. Bro, did it say did it say I'm sorry, but I'm offline? Is that what it said? I don't know. Like, if you're gonna leave, you might as well do something crazy, right? Look at that, 407 troops on one spot. What is, that's a sight to see. Did it say that blue, did pink say that they were offline? I don't know. I'm not sure. No. Bro, pink, stop spamming me stuff, bro. Like, you're right there, bro. You attack blue, man. Dude, Pink is literally the second weakest person on the board now. That's kind of... I know right, how the tables have turned, right? If you get too big, everyone will pull you back down to make you about... have the same... until you have the same amount of, you know, power level. Why is, uh, like, red just building up, like, like, I mean, it's just a bot, that's why, it, it's what it does, right? Yeah, that's true. Growing so fast. Yes, sir, they are. Yes, sir. Bro, we must not we must not budge and you know, we must stand we must stand firm. Is that is it fun when the risk games come down to who can stay in the game the longest? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
This is this all this is now. Who can stay in the game the longest? Well, if I kick the bot out, that might make the game move forward, right? But then I'd be super weak. crazy because the bot is still getting more troops right we're not whittling down the bot at all it's just getting more and more powerful so in a game where even the bot is still gaining troops it's just like how does that end i don't know i don't know should we call it at the three hour mark i mean i mean don't you want to uh you know staying in it to win it that is true, right? But you do have to, you know, have that, uh, that time. For instance, you have to, th sometimes it's good to think of things like, oh, you're not sure. Think of them as in like a very extreme circumstance. Would I play this game for 24 hours straight? No, right? So obviously I've set the boundary of that. I will not play this game if it takes 24 hours, right? Obviously I'll probably cut, I'd cut it off before there too, but to make that point, like the, the, that point in time where you'll just agree to like you know stop if we get to the three hour mark i think i'll probably think about um just like you know like ending it but i thought we were in it to win it bro uh like i said i'll think about it right not necessarily but perhaps Because, like, so far, well, there hasn't been really much of, a, um, of anything happened. And, like, anything of circumstance, really, hasn't happened for a while. Uh, basically, what happened is just Blue just replaced Pink as the most powerful player, and now Blue is just growing, right? Eventually, Pink might, attacking, might attack Blue. Maybe, but I doubt it. I think Pink really wants to win. Yeah, I mean, I, there's nothing else I can really say. Well, I don't know if I mentioned this before in this video or not, but I was th I was thinking of making um like a like a welcome to the channel type of video, like a you know like introducing myself and stuff. It might be kind of interesting, just like saying like what games I like to play, or maybe not even say anything at all, just say welcome to Moonblast Gaming or something like that. You know, that might be all I say, right? Let the game, let the games. Uh, like footage in the background, you know, explain itself. It just says an interesting thing, you know. Right? I'm gonna play other games other than Risk, right? Risk is just like an easy thing to record at the moment, you know? And it's fun too. But, I don't know, you know? Like, if you really want to grow, you have to get past Risk, right? Because, you know, I mean, I have looked around. And there are people that post risk, like, like, like videos and stuff, but not that many. Not that many. Yeah, make some risk strategy guides. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I could think I can make some risk strategy guides, I suppose. Maybe. No promises, though. Well, basically, though. Just watching the game, you can kind of learn. Well, what's the strategy? Well, obviously there's the Australia strategy. 
Atlantic Australia, the Africa strategy, the North America strategy, the South America strategy, the sit in Asia and get cards, bonuses strategy, and wait. There's a strategy of waiting for someone to just, like if there's two people going for Australia, and one of them annihilates the other one, and is super weak after doing so, and, and um, in the effort to take Australia, you can sit in Asia to wait for that to happen and then swoop in and take Australia after them. That's a good strategy, right? Yeah, it's a pretty common one you'll see, especially with better players. Where they'll just be waiting in Asia, waiting for someone to destroy the other person in Australia so they can swoop in and take it. Um, yeah. Well, like I said, bro, I'll go for another hour and then think about it, right? Just I don't see anyone budging in this game, so it's like hard to say what'll happen, you know? Is pink gonna do it? Nope. I don't know why blue has those 160 troops in the middle right there. Are they just so in case someone attacks one of their hundreds, they can use that to attack? That wouldn't make any sense, bro, right? If they were able to destroy your 100s, they could probably destroy your 160 also. I'd recommend putting those 160 on one of those 100s. You know, probably the one that's next to Europe, right? But they are getting the largest bonus per turn, so perhaps, you know, they're doing something right. More like pink. More like pink was hoping someone would attack blue, but no one did, right? Because pink, like, just went out of their way just to go out of North America so as to not have to keep fighting blue, right? But nobody attacked blue, so... No, they're just growing exponentially, basically. No, exponentially is not the right word, but, like, they're just growing a lot faster than we are. Which is not ideal. Won't be long now until we get 500 troops on one spot. Yes, sir! Like, I'm kind of curious though, right, like, on how long a game like this would go on for. Because there's literally, um, three other people in the world right now that are also playing this game and have already spent two hours into it, you know, they're, they're invested, right? Hmm. When I should have ate a hearty meal before starting this. Yeah, no kidding. I'll make a good meal after this, though. After this game. The longest stalemate in human history. Oh. Dude, blue is so powerful, what the heck. I know, right? Pink. Like, pink. It's all up to you, man, if you want this game to end or not. Like, do something crazy, bro, or, you know? That'd be pretty helpful. Huh, they're not gonna, though. Could you imagine if Pink takes Europe? I could honestly see it happening. I mean, they might as well. No one's gonna stop them except the bot, really. Yo, what, what Pink should do is block in charcoal. 
I mean, that wouldn't really help them, but it would, uh, it'd do something, right? Make it make the game interesting. Yep, if I get 500 troops on one spot, I'll make that the title of the video, 500 troops on one spot. Unless, of course, I get to 600, then I'll make that the, the video title. Well, let's count up how many troops are in the board right now. Hmm. Yeah, there's... There's over 2,000 troops on the board right now. That's pretty crazy. It's just straight, like... Bonkers, man. Yep, this is what, this is what happens when there's a crazy stalemate. My phone's kind of getting hot after playing this game for so long. Ooh! Blue made a move. It's interesting. I mean, yes, I know there's the, the, you can play this game on, uh, Steam too, but I, I think it's more comfy just to sit back and play it on your phone. I don't know, I kind of want to force pink. No, well, actually, no, that wouldn't work. They could just... Okay. I kind of want pink to just do something crazy, man, but... We'll see what they do. Should we take one for the team and just destroy red? Uh, it would make it would make a noticeable impact in the game. That's true, but I don't know. I don't want to fold just yet. We're only two hours and four minutes and 35 seconds into it. We're not going to fold just yet. You know something's wrong when the bot is literally hundred that big, man. That's like this is just a stalemate of unparalleled proportions, you know.
when you get into the game that never ends. Yep. I mean, everyone is playing pretty well, right? It's just that, you know, it, no one wants to do what has to be done, right? And that's just to, like, attack someone with all their troops and then leave the game, right? When blue is powerful enough that they could destroy the bot and it wouldn't even be a big deal. Yeah. This is just what happens when you get a stalemate between, you know, this many people, right? Well, it happened because people were playing the same way the whole time, right? They wanted to play smart rather than putting themselves at a huge disadvantage, right? Because Charcoal could have destroyed me pretty early in the game, right? But they didn't, right? They decided to play it smart and safe. Problem is that the game never moved forward. In order for the game to move forward, someone has to do a move that would be disadvantaged, disadvantageous to themselves. But I don't see anyone willing to do that. Well, how bad would you think it blue would be if I attacked them, right? Be interesting. Be interesting. Well, I could end the game pretty soon if I sent all my troops to destroy pink, right? Because then blue would then destroy, like, charcoal, right? And then, you know... We'll wait and see if we get a cavalry. We'll wait. Wait, wait. For the ultimate thumbnail to have exactly 500 troops. There we go. When we just created the thumbnail. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But like, yeah, screenshot it? Maybe. Or maybe I'll just go in later and get it. So I don't want it, like the screenshot thing to pop up on the screen and just make it look scuffed. 500 troops on one spot. Crazy, bro. The problem with that, though, is that, um... You'll probably get up to 600 troops on the spot, and then you'll have to- then you'll make it 600 troops on a spot. When you have an alliance of everyone on the board... Well, I'm not fighting any of them, so... I mean, they're pretty truthful. Um, you know, alliances. the stalemate of the century. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. I mean, there's not really much I can even say as a commentary besides repeating the same thing, right? Yep. Yes, sir.
Man, where do you find four people, including myself, that are, like, willing to spend two hours on a stalemate in a risk, man? That we're, 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 we're built different, man. We're built different. So I guarantee you, most people would not be spending over two hours on a risk game. I mean, I'd say an ideal time for a risk game is about 50 minutes, you know? I think that's probably, like... Like, if you can win a game in 50 minutes, that's a probably a pretty good game, right? Yo, is Charcoal gonna make a giant army and then attack blue? That's what I like to see. Bro, do it. Do it, bro. Yes, dude! Aha! Is he gonna attack blue with that army? That's what I'd like to see. He might. Please, bro, do it. Do it, bro. When, when Charcoal's about to budge... Yeah, dude, charcoal's... Oh, snap! Dude, Blue called charcoal's bluff, man. He's like, try it, bro. I dare you, man. I Like, try it. I dare you, bro. I'll, I'm curious. Charcoal, charcoal, I think you should go through. I think charcoal should go through with it, man, if you ask me. That's just my opinion. I think you should go through with it, you know? Do what we all need. Do what needs to be done, Charcoal. I'm. I'm really. I. I really hope Charcoal does it right. Blue is like, don't try it, Charcoal. I have the high ground. Oh man. When Charcoal didn't underestimate- OH SNAP! I was gonna say Charcoal didn't under- didn't underestimate Blue's power and didn't try it. But now, Charcoal is doubling down, man. He's gonna end the game. This is what we like to see, boys. Something very big is about to happen in the game. Something very large. Charcoal- Charcoal's had enough, right? They're ready. They're ready for the game to be over. They want to go make a sandwich. They want to go. They want to go to the bathroom, right? They want to go take a shower. You know, they want to do basically anything other than this, right? Charcoal is ready, bro. We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what see charcoal finally do what has needed to be done for a long time well right who's gonna break first it was charcoal the funny thing is that charcoal goes before blue because blue probably would back off after seeing charcoal's bluff but charcoal is not bluffing he's for real Charcoal's- Oh no, dude! Did you just back off? Huh, that's disappointing. I thought Charcoal was gonna go for it, man. Well, I mean, I was excited because it would bring a end to the game, which has been going on for quite some time. Not that I hate long games, it's just that if there's nothing happening of significance, it's just kind of, you know, not a, not, a very, not a very entertaining game. Wow. Dude, Blue, Blue believes Charcoal when Charcoal says that he's going to attack him. That's interesting. Yep. It's the same thing that happens every time, and it's funny because people think that can be the exception to the rule, right? If you get too large, people will bring you right down. 
And that's exactly what happened right there. That's exactly what happened. People think they can be the exception to it, right? Oh, I think Pink got super too big, so we all tore him down, but they won't tear me down if I get too big. So that's exactly what happened. Blue got too big, so people are going to tear him down like charcoal. And all right, well, I'm just sitting back watching it all go down. Well, that's just the most, that's just the way for, that's the best way for me to win is by just sitting back and letting them fight it out. That's just the reality of the situation. I want to see Charcoal do it, bro. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Is he just going to sit in South America, though? Yes, keep going, bro. Ah. Lame. Bro, that was a bit lame if you ask me, bro. Well, the red kept getting rid of um, charcoal's bonus in, in Africa, so it kind of made sense to move there, you know, into uh, South America. But also, by going into South America, he slows the growth rate of blue, right? Because blue was growing a bit too fast. Huh, the bot is taking out Dude, that bot just won't die, and it just keeps getting larger, right? It's just crazy, man. And luckily for me, I haven't... I don't... None of the other players in the board have a grudge with me, so... They'd probably rather see me win than any other person on the board, right? Because once you get a grudge of someone, it's just like, well, as long as they don't win, I'll be happy, you know, right? Um, Pink has shown no sign of, like, you know, like, breaking, you know, of wanting to leave, to, like, to lose, right? Pink's in it to win it. Charcoal, with the moves Charcoal and Blue have made throughout the game, I think they'll crack before, um, you know, Pink does, you know? They'll just be like, you know what, bro? Maybe I should, uh, you know, go out to eat at McDonald's or something, bro. Uh, I don't know. Lately, I've been liking more chicken rather than burgers from, like, fast food, you know? Especially that Chick-fil-A and Kentucky Fried Chicken, bro. Well, there's some good sandwiches. Especially Chick-fil-A. Yo, blue is backing off, man. Huh. It's interesting. I'm surprised, blue. Why don't you just stand your ground? You think you think charcoal would actually call your bluff and attack you? I don't know. I don't know if they would, honestly. But at this point, you might as well test them, right? Because. You know? Well, the funny thing is that the bot... Dude, it's crazy how the bot was literally waiting for Africa to become available, you know? Are they gonna attack in South America? Well, the funny thing is that the bot is kind of blocking charcoal in... ...to attack blue. You know, that's good that they destroyed the charcoal spot in, uh, Europe. Because now... Basically, it has to either attack through red or attack through blue. And not getting cards... I mean, that is an option, but... Typically, it's a losing option, right? Unless you're in the waiting game for someone else to do a big move. It's all fun and games until you get a thousand troops on one spot. I don't know if it'll get to that point, but it could. It definitely could, right? I don't know. Till we get to that point. What's Charcoal gonna do? I really want Charcoal just to attack Blue, right? Huh, they want their bonus back. Wait, what? Is he just- what's he doing? Yo, yes, dude! Something finally happened! Oh, man, dude. Dude, Charcoal was getting bored. Well... 
Let's look at the troop numbers on the board, folks. Um. Ah, man. The thing, though, is he, he destroyed pink and damaged red, but blue is still huge. Um. What do I do? Do I just take second place? Right? I don't know. Right? I could start a full on assault on blue, but... I'm surprised that blue didn't just destroy charcoal on its turn. They could have. Um, should we just let the bot fight blue at the moment? I suppose, right? Well, yeah. Let's wait and see what happens, if you ask me. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Um, to see if blue... There's no way blue would attack the bot at this point, though. I'm curious. I'm happy Charcoal made a move. It was kind of becoming obvious that they would. I wish they attacked um, blue, but then again, getting rid of pink, that was nice to see. Huh, what does charcoal even do in this circumstance? I don't know. Alright, blue. Blue, you should blue, you should attack charcoal. That's what I'd say. Just get charcoal out of the game. You have the troops to spare, honestly. You'd still have more than me, even after destroying charcoal. The problem here is that if I don't do anything to blue, they're gonna grow faster than I am, right? I could easily take second place though if I do nothing, right? Well, it's nice to see that there was a move in the game, though, right? Hmm. It's interesting. I wonder... I don't know, right? They attacked and destroyed pink so fast, it was like, what just happened, you know? Well, the problem is that blue is growing faster than I am, right? And already is much larger than I am, so... Basically, hope for charcoal to attack blue, maybe? I don't know if they will, though. Really. You can't tell me... What? You can't... Ooh. Charcoal cannot tell me that they try... That they're planning on winning the game after doing that, right? Like, they're still, like... Like, they're just playing like they want to win, right? But that's not gonna happen. They're not gonna win at this point. Unless something crazy happens, like I just completely use all my troops to attack blue. That'd be an interesting movement moment. Dude, pink is probably so mad. Well, I mean, it kind of sucked, right? Waiting two hours and 20 minutes. Well, I mean, they were, I mean, well, two hours and 25 minutes. That's how long it's going to be going on now. Waiting that long in a game just to be annihilated in like a second. Eh, at least they can go and, you know, do something else. Bro, nothing wrong with staying in a game for 2 hours and 25 minutes and 46 seconds. Nothing wrong with that at all. Huh. You know? I might leave those troops there, those red troops there, so that I can... That if I need to, I can just attack with my full army, right? In case something crazy happens, because I don't want to have to wait a turn to fortify all my troops out. This way, if I leave those five there, I can just attack. Like, if 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 something on the board happens that changes the board significantly, I can start attacking. Right. Well, if I use all my troops to attack red and destroy charcoal, I can make the end game end within a few minutes. Right. It just, it just perplexes me how Charcoal destroys pink, but is somehow still trying to play to win the game, right? Like, I would, like, if you're gonna do that, you just use all your troops to destroy someone and then just leave, right? You don't, you don't stay and try and play. I mean, I suppose you could, but... Blue really is powerful enough just to destroy Charcoal and still get away with it, right? But again, it, but then again... They would weaken themselves closer to my power level, right? 
And if they did that, well, you know, then that would make it so that, well, if they did that, if blue weakened themselves by destroying charcoal, I would go full frontal assault and attack them, right? Right? Because that would be my only chance. Like, just hope for some good rolls and attack. Well, do you go and try for first place, or you st or do you stay? Try in first place, but lose and go get third, or do you just accept the fact that you get second and let the other person get first? That makes for a boring game, doesn't it? Yeah, just letting yourself get second. Yeah, it kind of would. Yo, look at what the bot did. All right, bot. Now we have a game. Um, not a game I can win personally, but we have a game. I was not expecting the bot to do that. Wow. Okay, bot. <laughs> Good luck. I know, right? I know, right? Um, what do I do, man? Um. Well, we have to do something, right? We gotta move, man. We're not accepting second place, bro. We're going for... Wow, we damaged them bad, man. We damaged them bad. We're still- we still have 63 troops less than them, though. Honestly, I had some big luck there, though. But yeah, since red is a bot, I have to attack blue and try and weaken them down. If red wants to take Australia, they can, right? I'm not gonna stop them. I'm sure- my guess is that the bot will just take Australia in its next turn. Well, dude, the bot made things happen, man. I like it. Yeah, but this, this game will be over soon. Dude, I had such good luck, man. Like, when I annihilated the army, I had such good rolls. That was lucky. Like, if that happened again, bro, wow, you know. What is blue? Oh. All right, blue. Well, my strategy is to let the bot get huge. And, you know, that's basically how I'm planning of winning, is letting the bot just get huge. Is it a good strategy? Not really. But... It's basically the best I can do, you know? Alright, lucky rolls, boys. Yo, that was a lucky roll, man. Dude, like, the lucky rolls have been on my side, man. Uh, should I have kept going? I don't know, we'll see. I wanna- let me- I wanna take a minute to think through what I can do. Um... I should have fortified them back, that's what I should have done. Okay. Attack one more time, I dare you, bro. Dude, the lucky rolls have been have been on my side though, man. No, bro. Get those get those out of here, bro. I wanna be able to attack. I was hoping I could attack through Europe, but that's not an option anymore. Oh, don't block me in, Red. Please don't. Please don't block me in, man.
All right. Um. Well, basically, I'm gonna. I made a mistake. I should have sent those, moved those guys out. Basically, what I'm going to do. Wait, did I just screw myself over? Oh, I did. That's just letting the other player get more troops, which is not good. Hopefully, I get an artillery on my next turn. Dude, did I, I think I just messed up bad. Oh, man, I, I'm letting them grow. Yeah, I made some poor decisions right there. Are they going to leave Australia? That'd be interesting. No, okay. Well... Dang it, I let them get more than me now. That's not good. Should I just let the bot get huge? I don't know. You think if I let the bot get huge, if they would attack blue? I don't know. Huh. Alright, boys. We kind of messed up, you know, by not attacking them sooner, because now they've been able to get more troops than me again. But dude, the, the lucky rolls have been with us. I say just go for it, man. Let the lucky rolls decide the game. Wait, they're retreating. What are they doing? What, are, what on earth are they doing, man? I'm their biggest threat. They should be attacking me, not the bot. That's... I'm really, uh, confused that they did that. Huh. They just... Did we, did we get a good card bonus? Yes, we did. They might have just ended the games for themselves. Wow. I'm surprised at what they just did. Well, the game is going to end and the bot is going to win, right? But that's about as good as we can do. I'm surprised. What they just did was a huge mistake. They should have stood their ground and took second place. Well, I'm I'm really confused with what they're doing, right? What they're doing is almost giving me a chance to, you know, win. I'm not going to win. I'm going to use all my troops to annihilate blue. Is what I'm going to do. Um yeah. You know. I hope I hope red does the same. Yes, dude, take their Australia. Oh, don't block in their Australia. Take it. You know. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to destroy their 100 army and their 40 army. And that should basically take them out of the game. Oh. All right, let's do this, boys. Wait, did I just click on the wrong spot? Uh, I don't. I, I didn't notice. The lucky rolls, man. I'm telling you, they've been with us this game pretty good. All right. Well. Oh my goodness. My phone is getting low on battery. Well, this game's gonna end soon, right? Oh, I, I hate the way it's dark now. Turn it up, bro. Wait, that means it's at 5% battery, right? Huh, I'm gonna have to charge it then. Dang, that's a long game if it drains your battery that bad. Well, I'm gonna have to unplug the headset. Sorry, fellas. Well, I'm sorry for uh, that, fellas. You know, it's kind of scuffed, right? Mm, you know, 
I did not expect the game to go this long, though, so I should have had my phone more charged. You know... Uh, yeah, let's see right here, fellas. Well, we're going to take second, and that's all right. Yeah, no, right. If I just had a little bit more charge on my phone, it would have lasted the whole game. I know, right, this time it wasn't my headset that failed us, it was my phone battery. Well, there we go, and we should be able to destroy blue on our next turn. Well, I turned the game volume all the way down so you could hear what I'm saying, because I feel like if it was playing the game music through the phone, it probably would just overpower, the, just be like it's way too loud for me to even be able to be heard. I suppose I could test that, right? Hmm. When Blue is pissed. I mean, they're doing their best, right? With what they, they're doing the best they can with what they have at the moment. I know, right? Blue is really going to make me chase them all the, way, all the way around. Yes, they are. Hopefully, uh, Red can get rid of them out of South America. I don't think they are, actually. When you do the old chase around. Actually, if it wasn't for the screen turning dim like that, I wouldn't, since I turned on Do Not Serve, I wouldn't have known my phone was getting that low on battery, actually. So I suppose that works out for the best, right? Well... Put the rest right there. Destroy blue. Like, you know. I'd rather get second place to the bot than get second place to a real player, right? Well, it's been fun, Blue, but your time has come. And, uh, all right, I'll take those two cards. Yes, sir. Well, as you can see here, there's really no chance for me to win, right? The bot has 163 troops, and I have 45. I guess it depends on the way they play, right? But I think they'll start carving me up pretty quick. I don't remember what they had the bot set to, but yeah, it's gonna it's carving me up real quick. Hmm, they really let me keep a big bonus though. That's quite the bonus if you ask me. Alrighty, um, let's uh let's start carving them up, I suppose, right? Do our best to really mess them up. Dude, what's with the super lucky, you know, rolls this game? What is this, like, dream luck? Like, this is crazy, man. I don't know. It's been ridiculous. 
So. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can do to win this game, but I can try my best, you know. Basically work with what I got to try and tear them down. Dang, that's a huge bonus, though, right? Look at that, man. I suppose I could put them there, yeah. Could you imagine if we could actually turn this around? Dude, that'd be ridiculous. Dude, we're straight slapping them around, though. Is the bot really going to let me win? Dude, that'd be ridiculous, bro. There, no, I think the bot's still going to beat you, but... Like, obviously, why are they letting me keep my Europe bonus, right? Like, it, literally, Europe is undefended. Just take it, bro. Huh. They're not right. I don't know why they haven't taken Europe. It's I even attacked it. It's just ready and ripe for the taking, right? Dude, if the bot literally lets me win, I'm going to be so confused. This is right. This is like, I'd rather take my chances against the bot and then, then destroy the bot and let another real player win, right? Well, let another player, real player live, right? Because the real player will win 100%. The bot is just letting this drag out. I need those troops. Yes, sir. Whoa. We're really beating them down, though. It's crazy. I suppose I'll just leave those three there, right? Dude, could you imagine if Blue is just watching this go down? Dude, I cannot believe what the bot... Like, the bot was playing pretty aggressive earlier when it destroyed that huge army of charcoals, right? So I don't know what the bot is thinking. Like, at least get rid of my Europe bonus. If you let me go on like this for many more turns, I might actually, you know... Jeez, man. Dude, our rank is going to go up so high if we actually win this. This is ridiculous. You know, it's just... It's crazy, man. What's what's happening right here? It's crazy. Like, there's no words that can really describe what is happening in this game right here. Except, obviously, the fact that the bot is choking like crazy. Like, what is the bot doing, man? It's just, like, leaving all of its troops in Asia. Like, you're not going to get the Asia bonus unless you get rid of my 12 troops next to Australia, right? Holy smokes. What is going on, dude? This is crazy. I think we're actually going to win because the bot just has no idea how to play the game, right? It's just mind-blowing me what the bot is doing, or should I say not doing. Like, within a few more, like, like within, like, three more turns, I'm going to win the game with the advantage, right? Unless, of course, they could still win if they destroy, get rid of all my bonuses, right? There they go. Get rid of my Europe bonus. Okay, there you go. Oh, snap. Like, you got to keep, you got to keep the train moving, man. This looks so sus, but it's just like, I'm playing against the bot, right? I can't help it if the bot just doesn't know how to play the game, right? Well, I suppose we'll just, 
We'll have to wait and see what happens. We're getting very close to me having more troops than the computer, and at that point, it's over. I cannot. I thought I was doomed. But if Blue was watching this game still, they'd probably be so pissed right now. Are they going to actually get rid of my bonuses? They're going to fortify. What? Dude, come on, man. What is the bot doing, bro? You know what they say? They say, what the dog doing? It's like, in this circumstance, it's like, what the bot doing, right? So I just won the game. What the heck? This shouldn't have happened. This is most peculiar. They need to, they need to improve their bots. What the heck? Well, GG's everyone. The bot is just terrible. So, that's how we got ourselves into a circumstance like this. Wow. What the, what the bot doing, you know? I don't know what the bot is doing. Well, this is a cr Dude, we're coming up on three hours, man. Wow. Two hours and 48 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to eat a nice nice meal after this game. Well, well, this is crazy. I did not expect to win this, bro. The bot had like 80 more troops than I did when we when we got down to the final two. What the heck? How did we win that, fellas? I have no clue, man. Expert, Master, and Master. That was a big game. How are we not ranked Master after that game? Yes, dude. We got Master again, dude. Let's go, man. Bro, I have no clue what to even explain about that game, man. We got ranked Master again. Dude. That was a long game. We shouldn't have won that game. But when we got the rid of blue, the bot was left. And the bot just played horrible, man. That was a lucky game. Unfortunately, my, my phone was running low on battery, so I had to unplug my headset and plug it into the charger. Which means that there was no game music for the last, you know, you know, like 20 minutes or so. But that's alright. Well, dude, that's been a crazy game. You know what? Smash that like button if you liked it. Smash the dislike button if you're pissed. You know, because the bot played horrible. I don't know what I don't know why it played bad because the bot was playing pretty good at the beginning of the for the rest of the game. Anyways, well, it's been fun. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.